Hey y'all, uh, Siegel here, back with another part of Silent Hill 3. Um, in the last part, uh, we made it home. Unfortunately, we found our dad, Harry, dead. We fought a monster, the monster that killed him. Um, and now, after laying him to rest, we are going to travel to Silent Hill and uh, fight fucking... What is her name? Claudia? That's her name, Claudia. Alright. Uh one sec one second. Anyway. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding. Like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see... That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. 
You've got some kind of power in you too. No, I can't. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Jesus. That was a fucking fantastic cutscene. <laughs> Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Got the map, right? Yeah. Gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I never see nothing like this. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Okay, we're finally back in control. We've reached another save point. That's gotta be a coincidence, but still, it's pretty weird. Who could have done this? I'm kind of sad whenever the cutscenes are over, because the cutscenes just make me feel like a sense of safety or something. I don't know. It makes me feel calm. I can't really explain it. Plus, the music's always really nice, and you get to just hear the fantastic voice acting. And it's like, I just, I wish I could, I wish there was a movie. I know there are Silent Hill movies, but I feel like, I haven't seen them, but I also feel like they just don't do the justice of the games. At least not entirely. They don't, they don't feel like it's the same. Um, but anyway, there's no point in turning on the TV. All I could watch is snow anyway. I'm tired, but there's no time to sleep. I'm going to head for the hospital. That's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Um, so nothing else in here aside from the save point. So let's, let's take a leave. Oh, we are definitely in Silent Hill. This is what the franchise is known for. All this fucking fog. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, and we have the map. I believe this is the same map from the first game. Um, maybe it's not. I don't fucking know. Um, it looks familiar. Like, I remember Pete's Bolorama. Might, so, might also be the map of the second game, because they all take place in Silent Hill. So, I'm not really sure, but...
This is fucking creepy. Okay, so I can't go into any of these places. I don't have my gun out. I think I hear a dog. I hear something for sure. Oh, yep, it's a dog. I actually don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering into the fog, hoping for the best. More enemies that I don't really care to deal with. Okay, where where am I? Oh, uh, I'm going in the completely opposite. Oh no no okay I need to go, I need to go this way I need to turn this way. You guys are so loud and I do not like you. Please fuck off. Can I go to any of these places? Okay, I, I doesn't seem like you can go into any of these interiors. Or, there's no interiors for these places, it's just places on the map that you'd probably remember from the first game if you played it. But it's just like, no, go to the fucking hospital, you fucking idiot. Just go. Go there. I will try to see if I can go in here, though. Shotgun shells. This is a bar called Heavenly Night. It's a tourism pamphlet. I've forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedule and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with the feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Woodmark. I don't know if there's anything you're actually supposed to do in here, but we'll look around. Okay, I think that's also some beef jerky. I've never used the jerky. I don't know if it's like a good item or something. Like, I just much rather maneuver around. Ah, okay. Okay, doesn't seem there's anything you can really do in here. I think this is just a place you come in in one of the other games. But cool nonetheless. God, the fog fucking like it kind of kills the frame rate. All right, let's let's make our way to the hospital. Also, this ambient music is really. Oh, am I gonna say the word again? Yeah, I'm gonna say the word again. It's unsettling, but it's also, in a way, it's kind of nice. Okay, the hospital should be here. Here we are. Oh, there's the fucking nurses. Don't touch me. Can you fucking stop breathing, please? Oh, 
Okay, well, uh, got a health drink, a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. I guess I should just leave it all alone. Yeah, I guess so, Heather. Uh, the map. All right, Brookhaven Hospital. Got the hospital map. So now we're not fucking uh, lost. All right, there's only two floors. No, there's three floors in a roof. Oh, no, there's a bottom floor. Fuck, this place is huge. We're going to be here for a while. Okay, um, how long have we been going? All right, we've been going for a good amount of time. Uh, so I'm going to save and call it there. Um... All right, um, in this part, we made our way to Silent Hill. Uh, me and Douglas went our separate ways for the time being. He told us to check out the hospital. Why we're at the hospital, I don't fucking know, but it's already pretty fucking creepy. We've seen the nurses that are pretty much the staple for the Silent Hill series. Um, and the fog showed up. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll make our way through the hospital. Uh, I feel like we're probably gonna be here for a couple parts because it seems pretty massive. But yeah, um, got a couple other videos coming out. Uh, do it, do it, the, the, the video that I'm about to talk about um, is gonna come up before this one, so it doesn't really make sense me talking about it, but I have a video about a, another rhythm game, uh, BPM, coming out. So stay tuned for that. Or if it comes out before this one, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. But until the next part, I hope you all have a nice day.